What's up? It is time for a game of the new cat on the wonderful Flex Q. So I played two games before on cat. Somehow I've managed to cat get cat every game, which is somewhat amazing. I guess people are too busy banning Tala and Rengar to bother banning cat. I think the consensus is cat's quite weak at the moment. I don't know. I found it really difficult to carry with cat. Last game I went 7-0 in the early game. And then just couldn't do much, as the problem seems to be. You throw your normal combo, you know, QE and then W on top of them. And you just don't do much damage unless they stay still for long enough for all your daggers to land and you have to pick them up. And now, by that time, people have run away and you've done nothing and you're just sitting there being useless. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just playing it badly. But let's see. Laning phase is better, that's something. They have buffed Cat's laning phase, mainly through just having a realistic health pool and health regen now. Like, it's still Riven tier, but it's not, like, non-existent like it was before. I don't like that you've got to be more aggressive with your Qs now. Like, before, you only, you only get three bounces, so you can't throw it off the small creeps. You need to actually walk up to do it. I knew that previously that would have. Oh, that's bad. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, and also it seems E Max is better than W Max. W is just a really shit skill now. Kind of sad. You do get some decent damage if people are stupid enough to stand on your daggers, but it relies on them being stupid enough to stand on your daggers. Somewhat nice to be able to do that though. So I can get my dead, my E back off. Pull down really quick. And I really miss the ward jumps is what I found. No ward jumps is so sad. I strongly ward before going in there. If Udir was in that bush right there, I'd have been dead. Yeah, I don't know, this whole jumping into them is kind of, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that, being so aggressive. Also, Abyssal's is shit now. I bought it last game and it was really bad. Like, unless you really need it against the super, a lane you're super far behind in, or against maybe, I don't know, Diana or LeBlanc, I wouldn't go Abyssal's now. It's a much more defensive item. Oh yeah, and CSing has got really hard. I keep messing up CSing. Hmm, already didn't back, not sure why. It's hard to say Cat feels weaker yet, but she definitely feels very different. Pretty much unrecognisable in a lot of ways, in terms of playstyle. What? How did I not hit that? Oh, 
I would really like the dagger to bounce four times still. That's really throwing me off. Ah, oh, the reset isn't quick enough. I could very easily die to Ari here. The daggers fly way too far back as well. Like, I don't want to go into the tower. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> it's very easy to, for Ari to predict where I'm going as well. Like, just throws the charm where my daggers is. Nice, the uh, yes over him. I'll take that. So I'm gonna just rush Ludens first. I don't know, Gunblade might be better because Cat has higher AD ratios now. Let's try out Gunblade. I'll see how it goes. It fits cat style more now, because you actually need to have some way of killing people when all your cooldowns are down, and Gunblade at least gives you some semblance of being able to do that. You're probably dead. <laughs> what is that? Who they're chasing? So I've got to remember to max E next. W doesn't seem to do a whole lot. You get a one second lower cooldown, and you get an E. That's better wave clear than before. I'll give it that. That's actually pretty nice. If you are willing to step into where your dagger's gone, you get some pretty nice wave clear as a reward. about that. Rip ward jumping. If I saw ward jumping out on and I jumped over there, I could maybe could have got away. I really hate the ward jump enough. I think getting boots is better than finishing the ramp scepter. Oh man, Renek can just 2v1. Like even if we, the thing is, even if Cat gets ahead, it, she feels really weak in terms of I don't know, actually running around and killing people. Her roaming feels so weak now. Like not even compared to before. Like in general, just a weak champion to bother roaming with. Why aren't those guys back to it? And that's here. So slow. <laughs> Gunblade will be a big pass fight, but I'm at sort of a weak point at the moment. Oh, it's 
so easy to predict where she's going. <laughs> As bad as Draven axes for fire your skill shots here, a cat is obviously about to jump on her dagger. And that speed boost is so short for us. What's it? 1.25 seconds. Come on. Alright, 3 0 Renekton. Oh, Volley all Volley Bear has done so far this game is run out to die to Renekton in the 2v1. Good stuff. There's no point in me going top, I just won't care to kill him. No There's one more wave to gun bait, I'll just wait till I can get that. Let's go back and get the gun bait. Gunboat is huge pass back. So in terms of what ratios cat got increased, her passive has a decent AD ratio. I mean what I've got 46 extra AD, put one a one AD ratio there, and her ult has always had a huge AD ratio, which got buffed even further. So that's pretty nice. Is it a fed Ezra? Ezra never gets fed. I don't know. <laughs> that was mostly Gunblade's damage there, to be honest, rather than Cat. Don't free it. You can't free your Q at a wave like that, because you need it to... Oh, what? We lost first attack. Oh no, we got it, we got it. We just we lost our top turret, but we got first turret. That's fine then. Control wards. I guess I should buy one. I feel sad buying wards that I can't jump to, but that's every ward. I should probably change it. I should probably change it up to blue trinket. I always buy blue trinket on champions that aren't cat, so now I need to buy them on cat as well. See. Gunblade actually seems still really strong on cat. Like I always used to like it, but with the up to AD ratios it seems even better. It did get nerfed dispatch in terms of the revolver part, but it's still insanely good. Rip, can't jump to this ward. Oh, 
Oof, really? Yeah. You serious? What the fuck was the point of that teleport? That's the sort of situation I feel useless in, because I can't jump around getting resets that do much useful. What? How did I jump into that? Okay, yeah. Okay, it is pretty tilted, it seems. <laughs> Don't know what she was thinking, standing next to the cat like that. Wait, so if I... If I actually prepare this, what if I jump, drop this here? Are they gonna be stupid enough to step on it? Okay, well, <laughs> that, that was a mistake. Did my ult get cancelled? Yeah, my ult must have got cancelled there. I'm pretty sure I sealed my ult up. It was just... It's not up for that. Measures is an efficient enough buy at six stacks. I actually need to place this somewhere. I'm so used to just sitting on a pink ward to use for emergency to, uh, ward hopping that I never actually place it anywhere. Uh, back off, back off. So who's fed in our team? Ezreal and me. I do like that you can jump to your where your dagger's gonna land before it's landed. That's pretty cool. Report jumping. Some pretty sweet wave clear. Oh, why? 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 I'm coming. <laughs> That's not bad damage. Let's measure stacks. Uh, we void stuff next. Let the asshole always hang it. He has his passive shield. So yeah, I definitely think Emacs is the way to go. It lets you get that 90% cooldown reduction. So you can basically insta-hop back to where you shimpoed in from. At uh, rank 1, it's only like 70%, so you've got to sit around for a second or so, which is easily enough time for them to just kill you. Ooh, that's a nice wave clear. I guess I am fed with measures, but... It's 
still. No, run away, yes, away, run away! What are you doing? Ah, fools. How was that helpful? Oh, and this is ranked, by the way. This is, uh, I guess, it's the flex queue rank, but this is still like, I think. I have no idea what rank these people are, but they should be about diamond because it uses your previous solo queue rank. So these aren't just noobs I'm stomping in a blind game or something. See, the real thing I hate about this new cat rework is I can't jump in on someone. Like, if I jump in, use my combo, it's just not going to do anywhere near as much damage as it used to. I, I'll just get the... I won't get any of the dagger reset damage, basically. jump on that. To be honest, just no. <laughs> no thanks, I don't want to jump on the Fedorin Actin. Nah, Fedorin Actin, just, I don't want to deal with that shit. my void stuff really. I've got gunblade so I can stay in lane still. Fuck's sake, I need to stop standing on those. Yeah that I'll be able to do over an acting once I get the void stuff probably.
is stuck at my max attack measures, so even if I don't know the champion very well yet, I have enough damage to just mess about and still get away with stupid shit. Four, five, five, AP. Pretty good. One more wave for 16. Yeah, I'm not going to jump on that one. <laughs> That's going to be the new Yasuo. You jump onto the dagger on the tower, get Morgana binded. Like the infamous Yasuo tower diving skills can be also done by Katna. I don't know if I hold a lot in a siege though. I don't know what I can do here. People have to stand on my daggers for me to do a whole lot. doing? Oh, I don't know. I had no escape there. That's something I've got to get used to on cat. Like, what would have been really great there is a ward jump to get out of range of the Ude. Oh, Jesus, that Renekton. No, don't from closer to Israel. Okay, whatever. My, my engage was good, guys. I made them use some ults. Did I? No. I made them use some cooldowns. That's totally relevant. Maybe I need to get an hourglass earlier now for when I just jump into their team by mistake. Oh, no more lasers. Oh, yeah, I remember reading about that. That makes tower diving a lot easier. Without those stupid lasers that slowed you forever. See, that's the problem. That delay is so long. You gotta just stand still or like stand next to them and hope they don't run away while your dagger lands. Gunblade helps with that, actually. Oh yeah, the Caitlyn traps where the cat daggers are. I see what you're doing there. Yeah. I'm not that good to engage. Ah, uh, Ezreal just walking into them. See, that's Cat. That, that sort of team fight should be what Cat wants to do, but I just feel so useless in these 5v5s like that. I guess I killed Caitlyn, but. And I'm supposed to be fed, and I still couldn't work out what to do in that team fight. You just. The, your resets just aren't useful. You get a reset, and. Gotta slowly jump to someone while they're all killing you, and ugh, it's horrible. Mm, we're gonna get quite a big lead back now. Maybe I need to wait it out longer, but I don't know. I don't know how I team fight differently. What 
is that dagger? Come on, please. Pretty dangerous. We have a few more people getting caught out on bad team fights. We could lose this. Can you not do that, Kate? Come on. I could jump into that, but I don't want to. It's really telegraphed where I'm going to go. <laughs> Problem with split pushing is I don't think Yasuo can beat Renekton in the 1v1. We need a let's connect to actually hit a hook. We can get a hook and make it a 4v5. We can win. Oh, there we go. Udo isn't here. This is the perfect time to hit a hook blitz, even if it's on Renekton. I don't know about that, actually. But... So I'm getting barren. I just feel so useless. I don't know what I do differently. I mean, you just got caught blitz. <laughs> If I jump in, I don't have enough damage to kill someone. Like, I throw the dagger on, I throw the Q in, it bounces around, nowhere near the target, and then it lands nowhere near the target that I wanted to hit. And then I jump in and do what? Like, 100, 200 damage at 45 minutes? That doesn't cut it. Just Shumpo and some ult damage. Maybe I need to just stay further back looking for chances to jump on Kate, but oh, I don't know. Fuck's sake, yes, we're. What the fuck is that? I have no idea how to control where the, these daggers go. Behind the primary target. I don't know, maybe, maybe, I think maybe this was just one of those times that it didn't really matter what our team comp was, it was more bad team getting caught constantly. That was some good damage, but we have an Israel instead of an AD carry to follow it up. I don't know, right, that's probably game. Yeah, Volley dies before Yasuo even spawns. Yasuo dies as well. What are you doing? Stay behind your wall. Oh, this is frustrating. You're all shit. The worst thing is I know I could have carried these players if I was on the old cap.
next game.